So inside there we've got two 75 volt 15 amp Victron chargers. Same chargers, same battery, everything is exactly the same. Now I've set this up. This screen is the ICO panel. This screen is the competitor. I won't say the name, but you can check on the back. <laughs> anyway, they're both 455 watt panels. And already you can see the ICO is giving us 211 watts. The other panel, 207. Now that's a small, it's only 4 watts difference. But it's 4 watts more on a smaller panel. Yeah. So if you would have had the same Extreme. surface area, it would have been even more than that. Okay, but now the exciting part. So I played around with some shading and some funny things happened. <laughs> so again, yesterday we had some cloud cover um, and shading is very difficult to, to um, uh, what's the word, simulate. to simulate. The so shading is not a piece of cardboard hanging on your panel but a cloud came past and the ICO panel kept on producing to the load was we've got the lights on there the loads are 140 watts and it kept on producing 140 watts the other panel just died poof, dead <laughs> completely and I thought hey what's happening here as the cloud moves away the other panel wakes up so that's already on the cloud cover but let's have a look what happens now so I'm going to cover exactly the same amount. So half of the panel plus one string to cover that. Okay, you can stay there. Do the same exact thing here. Half the panel with one string. So let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, one, uh, one. So half the panel plus one string. Okay. Have a look. 35 watts on the ICO panel. 7 watts on the other. That's at least 30 percent. Okay. So then I played a little bit more. You can see that's about 30% difference already. 60%. 60 well, 30 watts difference. <laughs> yeah. um, then I played uh, just shifting the stuff around and I saw something really amazing. So just take that one off. So I'm going to cover just the one row here. One row, this side. We've got six rows covered. Let's see what that does. Very cool. So just give it some time. That will start picking up. And this comes down. So look at that. Very similar. This one, so because the MPPT is now trying to follow the maximum power point, it goes up and down. But, I mean, you can see we've got only one row cells covered on this panel and six almost half the panel on the other side and they're f very much the same 180 184 huge difference yeah, they're almost the same so, i'm happy to tell you it does work, work. <laughs> <laughs> it does what it, it, does what it says yeah. i think even better what what yeah. and because like sean said you can't really put it on a data sheet what it does so if you experience it yourself and you see it i mean there's a four watt difference we've covered almost half of the ico panel and only one row on this panel and guys and you take something like let's just use the bird drop in example okay so you've got a, a pv array that's been installed and everyone's forgotten about it and some hardy dies had a good time on it okay and you've got a, a cell that's that's shaded consistently right you're going to get a hot spot there over mm -hmm. a period of time whereas with the ico module you're not going to have the same problem so all of a sudden the longevity of life safety all of that stuff starts to come into play that we don't always necessarily think about I've got Hardy does at my house that shits on my roof every day. I have to clean my panels every week.
and and with uh, <laughs> but um, I've seen hot spots on panels um, because of this bird droppings any any shading that stays there for too long couple of months you know because a lot of installations especially industrial they get cleaned once in six months maybe so the hot spot starts to form there and you cannot do anything to get rid of it it's there once you clean the panel hot spot is there and a hot spot kills a panel um, and with the ICO panel you will not have that that one cell will not operate and once you clean it we back up there hey guys, while we're here just to give you an example of the, what the CNR module would look like so if we get back to the tongue twisters right all black all back contact all right, so what we essentially have is we have a, a black back sheet here as well, okay? When we remove that and we replace it with the white back sheet, which is what we have in the CNR space, all of these sort of grid or the cell lines that differentiate the cells, right, become white. Okay, so it's still a significantly better looking module as opposed to one that has all the buzz bars and everything on the, on the front, right? So essentially what we have is we just have this white sort of outline of the cells but everything else is is pure black if you look at this panel you'll see there's 10 buzz bars 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 buzz bars that one's got 20. huge difference micro cracking uh, which no one can actually see or or foresee um, and that's something that's, that really um, impacts the efficiency of a panel, which you can't see unless you do a, a test with it, um, an x-ray test. <laughs> yeah. But like I say, proof is in the pudding. They're almost doing exactly the same thing. Half of that panel is shaded and only one row.